Hi Howard, this is Wendy. I'm um, going to show off my butterfly garden. I am very proud of it and it was created basically from the ion exchange plant plugs and I um, was hoping that I could forward this to you and you could provide any comments or suggestions that you may have. Um, as I said, this is my butterfly garden. I wanted to try to do something in a quasi urban environment and this is what I came up with so let me share it with you. I'll give you a little tour. This is um, Canada anemone that I planted, I think, from approximately seven plant plugs. Um, I was unaware, and you have subsequently told me that it is invasive. Um, it kind of spreads quite rapidly. I'm going to have to pull it out and put it into um, a uh, different environment, a different application. I think it's great. It's a beautiful plant with little white flowers, but um, they have now since bloomed. They might rebloom again. It's pretty. Um, moving on, this is a uh, prairie drop seed, one of my favorite plants. See how beautiful it is blowing in the wind. They started from three plant plugs. Didn't have to do anything with them other than just to make sure they were well watered in when I planted them. Um, I love them. This is, I believe, chickweed. And this is a funny plant. It basically started with uh, one little small plant and it has now grown in the last two and a half, three years to two large size plants. Um, it's awesome because they provide color uh, in between the blooming of the wildflowers as they have um, developed. Tickweed uh, started in the spring and I think it will continue throughout the summer. Um, and the Canada anemone uh, bloomed early spring. It was beautiful. Um, so I, it, I'm really proud of the garden because it's providing color throughout the seasons. Uh, another one of my favorite is uh, Royal Catchfly. And I thought I lost this last year. Or yeah, because it, it dried up quite a bit, and I know that Royal Catchfly needs to be a more wet environment, but I thought I'd give it a try, and I'm very proud of the way it's growing. Hopefully I'll get some red blooms this year. Um, it is, um, I had a tough time because this garden is planted on clay soil, and I know it needs to have um, you know, more of a wet environment rather than dry, and it's on top of a bluff top, so it's not anywhere near um, a, a swampy area, but it is my favorite, and I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, once again, more tickweed. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this one, but this is a prairie synclofoil. Um, I threw a couple of those in there just for a different color tone, and they're growing beautifully next to a uh, yellow coneflower. And um, the, these coneflower plants are basically five plants that were planted um, two or three years ago, like I said. And they provided beautiful coneflowers already yes, last year. And I can see that they're going to do the same again this year. So here's my garden. I'm very proud of it. And I wanted to share it with you. If you have um, the time and want to provide any comments, I'd appreciate it. I'll talk to you later, Howard. Bye.